guys, welcome back to another Wear and Compare. Today we're going to be comparing, or within this video, we're going to be comparing two different gradual tanners. The first one that I've got is this, the Derma Spa from Dove Summer Revived. I used to use a gradual tanner from Dove years and years ago, um, but not for a very long time. Last year was my first kind of foray into fake tan for a long time anyway, um, and I did a whole video. Is it the Vita Liberata? I'll link it below. It was a three-week tan. Really got along with that, but I'm not a, a regular self-tanner. Um, I'm doing this to test out some self-tans for our Easter holiday, and I thought it would be around the right time of year for you guys to be thinking about maybe picking up your own routine. So, we're going to give this one a go, which is relatively inexpensive. I think I picked this up on offer for about £4, but it might have been 50% off. Um, and I'll try this one first, and then I'm going to pick up a more expensive version and see how they fare against each other. Right, so I am going to be using a tanning mitt. I suspect this doesn't look particularly tinted, does it? So, uh, I'm a little bit nervous that I won't know where I've applied it. But I am going to apply it as if it was a regular fake tan. So for the areas that I don't want to be kind of um, all, you know, my elbows, my knees, my feet, my hands and my face, I've actually mixed some of the regular, uh, whatever it's called, gradual tanner in with some moisturiser. This is an ombre release moisturiser. Uh, and I'm going to use that with a brush to apply on those areas because I don't think they need full strength tan. It actually feels like it's absorbing pretty quickly. So I'm going to give it five minutes. I'm just going to hang out in the bathroom for five minutes. And then I'm going to put on my bronzy, which if you watched my previous video, you will have seen. Um, it was sent to me. It is a bit out there, but it's basically a onesie to stop your self-tanner getting on anything else. Um, and since that's like one of my bugbears, it's actually a pretty cool thing. Um, as well, right now, just on application, it smells really nice. This is a really light fragrance, doesn't smell like fake tan at all. I absolutely do expect it to smell like fake tan once it's developed on me, but right now, the initial stage smells very nice. I'm gonna have to wash all of this off now. I'm fairly, it's a very light color. Um, I definitely have got some amount of colour. It's not streaky or anything, which is really nice. Although I haven't taken all of this off yet to look at the rest of myself. Um, and I know that as it develops, it does kind of develop uh, an on-the-surface colour. So just to give you an indication, um, if I rub this against my skin, you can tell. Hopefully, I know this light is horrible because it's night time now. But you can see kind of like a, a dirtiness. Um, so obviously some amount of colour is coming off, which is another thing to note because if I had put this on and gone straight to bed, my sheets would have been a mess. Not something that I would advise. Although it seems like it's clear, it does develop some kind of colour on the skin that doesn't stick to your skin. It has also developed the smell, the regular fake tan smell. So obviously I'm not going to get away with that completely. Once I've showered, we'll see whether or not it goes away. But I'm going to come back to you tomorrow just to see in the light of day what colour this has come off just after one application. It's not proper daylight because it's nearly five o'clock so it's like quite dark now. Um, also overnight I appear to have developed a husky voice. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to do another application now. I'm actually pretty happy with it as it is. I mean there are, you know, there's some possibly more application area than anything. Some little areas of more orange than I would like. Kind of around here it wasn't too bad. I was pretty careful around my hands. Um, no one was going to see my elbows, I was wearing jumper today. Uh, but everywhere else, it's pretty even. I am pretty happy with it. And it is a very light colour, but it's normally what I would go for because I don't want to go from super pale to super dark. And this is the dark formula. Uh, but I am going to do this. I'm going to build upon this for you guys. And we will see how that goes. Can we just have a moment of silence for how great it is to have a tan in February? Um, I'm filming all of these in advance because I want to do a few different reviews by the time summer hits. Uh, and I thought I would kick off with what I thought was going to be a really subtle, not too dark, bronzy colour. This is basically as tan as I would ever want to be. But I'm really feeling it. I'm really enjoying the fake tan. I feel like I look a thousand times better with a bit of colour. I think as well because I've been feeling just a little bit dull and blah because of the cold weather anyway. I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship between me and Fake Tan. Uh, so this is me after a couple of days. It's, um, I mean, the lighting is really not going to show it off very well because it's looking pretty orange right now. Dusk. Haven't got a lot of daylight hours at the moment. Um, but I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm, I don't think it's too bad colour-wise. Maybe a little bit on the orange side. It really doesn't smell bad once it's all worn off. Um, like a couple of baths in, can't smell it at all, no problem. Sometimes kind of as you sweat, 
with fake tans it can smell not so great this is fine i did find some streaks when i applied for the second time because i was going back over and kind of noticing a little bit more uh, areas that I were, it wasn't necessarily kind of going over specifically when I checked the first time. So the worst some areas on my legs where I'd kind of just missed a section, which is not great with it being not tinted, um, but it is really hydrating. I did feel like my skin was really nicely moisturized after both applications. So, so far I'm really enjoying this tan. I'm going to come back to you after a few more days just to see how it wears, and then we'll move on to the next one. So I would say I got about a week out of that Dove Gradual Tanner, which is not too bad. I don't mind having to do that once a week. Um, but today we are going to test the Saint-Tropez. I want to say this is one of the originals because Saint-Tropez was like one of the big hitters way back when, wasn't it? You can get the tinted version of this for only 50p more on ASOS. Um, I was going to buy the tinted one because I found it. I think that the whole thing with the streaks is when you can't see the product. You're going to more likely to get streaks. But... I wanted it to be a light for light comparison. So uh, I'm gonna apply this and we will see how it compares. Okay, so first things first, ignore my puffy eyes. It's so early in the morning for me, um, but I just didn't get time yesterday to actually show you the color that I am because um, there was no daylight uh, when I actually had a chance to do it. So yeah, I'm a lot darker than I was, I would say, after two applications look back at this and maybe I'll have a different opinion. But I think this has given me more color than two applications of the Dove. So this is the medium dark that I bought. Um, first impressions of this one, not quite as hydrating. I definitely felt kind of itchier and not dry, but just like, just not as, as moisturized as with the Dove um, after using this one. I found that the actual texture of it was a lot grippier. It's like thicker texture. So as I was putting it on, it wasn't spreading quite as much. I think I used more of it. Um, however, this is as much colour as I would want. I wouldn't want to put this on another time. I'm going to for you. I'm going to look mental tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I would probably get more, at least as many, if not more applications from this because I would only use it the once for the entire colour that I would want. Whereas with the Dove, I liked that first layer, but the second layer after I'd put it on, I was like, yeah, maybe if I was going on holiday, I would do too. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, that's something to note. The fragrance wasn't quite as strong. Once I put it on and it was like setting or whatever, and I was sitting in my little baby grow thing, um, it was a really, really strong scent. I actually left the house wearing that Tangro whilst I had it on. I left it on for about seven hours and then I washed it off. I really can't stand to um, get into bed with it on. I don't want to wear that Tangro thing in bed. I really don't want to get it on the sheets. So yeah, I did wash it off after seven hours. And once I did wash it off, I didn't think that it had done much. I didn't see much at all. I mean, just to give you an example, the areas that you look for um, when you fake tanned, like around my hands and stuff, there was nothing. There was nothing really terrible. Well, okay, that pile goes worse than this one. But nothing like really patchy or anything around the drier areas. Nothing like on my face that I thought, oh God. Um, and so I kind of thought, mm, well, I don't know if it's done much. I'll do it again tomorrow. And when I woke up the next day, it had developed. Past me washing it off, it had developed more and it was really quite dark. Um, so it's it's just a different animal from the Dove. So I'm gonna apply the uh, second coat and I will come back to you to see how dark that makes me. Fingers crossed it's not too crazy because I do have work tomorrow. Um, but yeah, first impressions were, at first I thought, mm, this is really expensive what it is. I don't think it's as, as, as good as the Dove. But overall, so far, I'm thinking actually it probably is better. And um, I haven't had any of the fake tan scent at all from the minute I washed it off. The colour that I am right now is really quite dark for me, but it's pretty much perfect, to be quite honest. Everything about it. There were some streaky areas when I was in the bath last night. I'm going to show you my knees. I mean, they're not attractive at the best of times, but can you see how streaky that is? And the problem that I have is I applied it on my knees before I applied it anywhere else, just like a small amount. And then I think when I applied over it, it took the, the first lot off. Oh, all this, fine. All my upper body, no problem. My legs, it's made them look so strange. Everything looks all like mottled and uneven, not cute. Um, not what you kind of want from a fake tan. So although obviously a lot of the time streaks are user error, I do like to mention it because some things are easier to apply and not get streaks than others. So if you consider me a complete tanning novice, which I think a lot of people will be watching this video, he's like, cannot get enough. He's sniffing my legs right now, which is just a hint 
but I do still smell of fake tan. I like to scrub with my uh, shower gel just everywhere to try and get the smell off. And today it's lingered a lot more than the first time. So I don't know what that's all about, but the smell is like a lot stronger now than it was after the first or second one with the Dove application. So I feel like yesterday I was like, this is great, this is great. And I must say around these areas, it's blended really nicely. Um, but there are definitely areas like my legs, which is the majority of the reason that I would want to put the fake tan in the first place that has made this not quite so easy. Also, I definitely didn't get as much from the bottle as I would with the Dove. So I would say, again, I got about a week's worth of colour out of the San Tropez Gradual Tan um, before I had to remove it. I thought I probably should make a little note at the end about how I do that as well. I just scrub all over with a loofah and some shower gel and then I use a lot of body oil. And I find that that pretty much like resets me um, and gets rid of any kind of leftover lingering colour. So which one do I prefer? It really was a toss up. I think that the colour was a little bit nice with the Saint Tropez, but it wasn't as hydrating as the Dove one. And for me, uh, because I probably would just put the one layer on, the, the difference is not great enough. If you're gonna build it up to a darker colour, you probably would prefer the Saint Tropez. Um, but there just were not enough benefits of the Saint Tropez one for me to spend all that much more money. I, as I was applying it and as I was first using it, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna prefer this one the first application, the smell didn't linger as long as the Dove one did, but with the second one, the smell was actually really strong the, a couple of days after. Um, it really is kind of six of one and half a dozen of the other for me, for these two particular products, but because of that, then the cost really is the factor that would sway me one way or another. And the Dove one, I mean, the Dove one's cheaper anyway, but at the moment, the Dove one seems to be on offer everywhere. I hope that doesn't mean that it's gonna be discontinued because I actually really, really liked it. And since it is on offer, I'm gonna get a couple more. Um, but yeah, that is my conclusion. Uh, now I'm gonna be testing some more fake tans over the next few weeks. And I thought I would ask now, since there will probably be a little bit of time before I do it, would you prefer more wear and compares like this, where I pit two similar things against each other, or would you like standalone full reviews where I go a little bit more in depth, show the application of each of them? Let me know. Um, I have uh, one of those spray ones, the Isle of Paradise ones, and I have a gel one from Saint Tropez that I'm very excited to try. So let me know how you would like the format of the review, what information you would like about the tans in future. This was kind of off the cuff. So if there are any specific things that you wanna know, um, I'll answer any questions I can about these particular ones, but obviously moving forward, I'll try to actually put those into the videos themselves. Uh, otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to check out my other ones. I have done other fake tan videos in the past, one last year with a three week tan that actually was pretty good. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening.